Hello friends, my name is Anthony Mike and I work for the U.S. Embassy right here in Cyprus. One of my favorite parts about living here in Cyprus is getting to experience the sea. I love hearing the crash of the waves and the feeling of the sun on my skin and walking on the beach and swimming. You know, millions of animals, big and small, consider the ocean their home. And that includes my friend Wednesday the Whale. Wednesday the Whale is in a book named Whale in a Fishbowl by Troy Howe, illustrated by Richard Jones. Let's read this together. Whale in a Fishbowl by Troy Howe, illustrated by Richard Jones. Wednesday the Whale lives in a huge fishbowl in the middle of a city. It's the only home she knows. But Wednesday yearns for more, and as the call of the blue speck that she can see in the distance grows, stronger and stronger, Wednesday knows she should follow her heart and find her real place in the world. Wednesday lived in a fishbowl. It was the only home she knew. Her name was Wednesday because like the day of the week, she was smack in the middle of everything. Everything circled around her. People flurrying, hurrying, whirring, traffic, wheeling, peeling, and squealing. Even the sun, the moon, and the stars circled around her. Everything circled around Wednesday. But a calm bit of blue that lay at the end of it all. It was there. If she leaped high enough, she could see it. Her heart leapt too when she saw it, though she didn't know why. Mostly, Wednesday would drift, watching the world go by. People in cars, day and night. She'd think about the blue and wish to see it again. She'd gather her strength and make the leap. There the blue lay, beautiful. Soon she couldn't get enough of the blue. People said she was doing tricks. Ah, they said, look. Crowds clapped, horns honked. Wednesday would leap and leap. Leaping became her routine. But sometimes she'd lie along the bottom. She tried burying her head in the sand. One morning, a girl in a paisley dress approached and tapped on the glass. Wednesday came close. Hello, the girl said. Wednesday gazed into her eyes. She had seen that blue before. I'm Piper, said the girl, and you're lovely. Wednesday's reflection shone in Piper's eyes. But you don't belong in there. Wednesday blinked. She looked at her familiar shells and plants, at the starfish on the rock. This was her home. If she didn't belong here, 
Where then did she belong? Piper was leaving. A woman rushed her off. But before the, they were lost in the crowd, Piper called, You belong in the sea. The sea? The sea? What was the sea? Wednesday wondered about it all long, in the day and in the night too. What did the sea have that her fishbowl didn't have? Now she couldn't sleep. She scarcely touched her food. She no longer leaped. Could Piper have been wrong? Piper wasn't a whale. What did a little girl know? Without answers, Wednesday gave up on the sea. And when she did, she thought of the blue again. She ached to see it. So she gathered, gathered her strength, thrust her tail, and leapt. The blue wasn't there. Gone. Nothing. Nothing but gray. Wednesday sank into the sand. Her heart hurt. If she cried, her tears were lost to the water. Then she lifted her head. Maybe she hadn't leapt high enough. She would try one final time. If the blue wasn't there, she would leap no more. Up, up Wednesday leapt, higher than ever before. So high she leapt beyond the bowl. Her tail caught the rim and the bowl toppled over. Torrents of water gushed out. The water carried Wednesday down the avenue, past everything she had ever known. It carried her into the gray, but the gray was disappearing, giving way to something else. A glorious, breathtaking blue. A blue that went on forever. She plunged into it. She swam and swam and swam. She skimmed and soared, spouted and dived. She turned somersaults. She swam strong and far and deep. And for the first time in her life, she sang. She sang about the blue and everything new around her. She sang about Piper, who had known where Wednesday actually belonged. Here she was at last. Then there came someone just like her who said, hello, welcome to the middle of the sea. The end. I'm so happy Wednesday discovered her home in the ocean. We all must do our part to keep the oceans clean and safe for whales like Wednesday to thrive. What was your favorite part of the story? I hope that you can join us again soon for more stories. We'll see you next time.